Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy the Feist back at it with another video. But before we get this started, I want to say if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit it. Hit Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Come join us on Discord, it's the best community ever, you will not regret it. As you can see, we're going to be doing some Smash Bros today, and we are going to be learning King K Rule. I hope you guys enjoy this video, I'm going to disable my camera so you guys can see the full spectrum, but I always love saying hi to you guys. So right now I'm going to say bye in the physical presence, but I'm still going to be in the video obviously talking. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Alright guys, so if this isn't your first time here, you know the deal. We like talking about the basics and then we start working from the ground up and then we get to the advanced stuff like the combos. But first, we have to know this character before we get a little further into it. So first, let's talk about some of the basics with him. Normals, the jumping normals, the smashes, the specials, some of the, the interesting traits that King K. Rule has and then we'll go from there. So let's start off by talking about the uh, just the basic normal things with him so obviously he's a really heavy character so his uh his dash speed is ridiculously slow compared to a lot of the other guys that we have done so far but he does compensate with a lot of damage and he also is heavy and he has some super armor properties so we're gonna get into that like really quick like first let's just start talking about the normals because i really do want to cover those so as always the ground normals are just the neutral punch he does a three-piece combo if you do a forward tilt, he does that hit. If you do an up tilt, he gets out that boxing glove type of hit over there. It's crazy. Then if we go into the down tilt, he buries the opponent, which is really good. If you do the diagonal forward tilt, you can uh, change it to hit upward. And if you do it downward, you can hit lower. And that pretty much covers all the, uh, all the normals that he has on the ground. One thing I definitely do want to mention about the down tilt is that when you get close, kind of like we stated, you bury the opponent. But if you're kind of away from them, they go, they get thrown up. So it's just a, it's an interesting property if you wanted to do some cool things. I personally like the burying more, but uh, it does have that property. So just something to, to keep in mind if you want to do some weird, interesting setups, just in case. The other ground attack he has is the dash attack, which is a really good attack. I really do love it. We'll get more into the super armor in regards to that after, but I just wanted to kind of show like this basic attack that he does. It's a really good thing, and you can absorb one of the hits that uh, someone throws at you. It just does insane damage. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so now it is time to talk about the jumping normals. We're going to get through this as fast as we can. The first is the neutral, which is the belly. It's really good for comboing, similar to the forward air as well. Just want to mention that the neutral uh, the neutral attack definitely has belly super armor properties, but we'll discuss that later on. Like I said, the forward air, it's a drop kick. You can also combo really easy with it. The down air requires a little more finesse, but you can also do that. The up air, you can't do really a combo from the ground with like a few hits. So it, it, it provides an extra hop, which is really good when you want to get back into the ring. Um, the only thing is when you want to use the up B after, you just have to wait a bit before you utilize it. And then last but not least is the back air, which is one of his strongest attacks. I really do love it. And that pretty much covers all the, uh, all the jumping normals that I really do. Like, I like saying jumping normals because I'm used to saying it in fighting games, normals on the ground, normals in the air, and then I'll just say forward air, back air, up air, down air, you know what I mean. Alright guys, so now let's talk about Cruel's armor. It was kind of what I was saying about his dash attack and his jumping neutral. He uses his belly and it actually has armor. He can use it to plow through some of the attacks, but you'll notice that we'll set this up right now where uh, we'll have Ken do the fireball, but when you use the dash attack, his belly will start having cracks in it. And that's because he's eating the hits, but he's also plowing through it. So if you see his stomach, he actually has cracks. If he continues to do that, he will eventually get dazed, but he, you see how he could just continue doing his attack? That's the, you see, this is the part where you get dazed because your, your belly is essentially cracked. Now, you would have to play defensive in this case because it's like, you know, you could use it to, like, eat hits. So you can continue doing things. So we'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll see if we can get it to a point where he's very close. I want him to do the Hadouken, but at the same time, I want us to go through it. 
You see that? You see how we just ate the Hadouken, but we still uh, hit 10? That's essentially what I mean by super armor. Over time, your belly, the cracks will uh, disappear and stuff, but you have to play defensive at that point. But this is a very unique property about Cruel and his neutral and his forward dash habit. You do take some damage though. But the fact that you can continue an attack is really a good thing. Alright guys, so the next thing we are going to be talking about are the smashes. Let's first talk about the forward smash. It is a, a boxing punch, a really strong hit. If you uh, change the direction di diagonally up and diagonally down, you change the direction of where it will go. So that's really cool. A lot of characters have that type of stuff, kind of like Richter Belmont uh, with the whip. If you do the down smash, it is a belly flop. You do an AoE if you're not close enough to them, they will bounce up from that. And then last but not least is the up smash, which has two properties on hits. So if they're not above you, they'll do something like that. If they are above you, you'll hit them with the crown. So you could do something like this. Something like that you could easily do and it's so amazing. All right, guys, so now let's talk about Cruel Specials. The first one we're going to talk about is his Neutral Special, which is the Blunderbuss attack. He uh, fires uh, through his ice. I said Misket before, and it just is hilarious instead of saying Musket. So he fires from his Misket uh, Cannonball, and if it's close enough, he can fire it. Now, the cool thing about this is that if he gets the Cannonball back in, he can do three different trajectories. He can do the basic trajectory once he gets it back, which is an upward diagonal forward. He can shoot upward. And then last, he can shoot backwards in a diagonal. The other cool thing about this is that if he's close enough to the enemy, the enemy could get sucked in. So he would have to be a little bit on a lower percentage in order for that to happen. So let's do that right now. You see, and he gets fired off the same way. So that is a really cool special. I really do love that. You're going to see it in a few of the combos that we do in this video. So it'll be very interesting. Alright guys, the next one we're going to be talking about is his down B, which is gut check. And that's basically a parry. He can fire projectiles and stuff right back at him as long as it goes in forward. It does not protect him from behind. So this is essentially gut check. It's a really cool move. I definitely do like it if you want to kind of like fake putting pressure and stuff. Whenever a character has... A parry concept, it is really good. Alright, the next special we're going to be talking about is his up B, which is propeller pack. This is a good way to get back, obviously, like all usually all up Bs, uh, to get back into the arena. But it also attacks the enemy if they're above them. So you can do something like this, and then just use the propeller pack. It's a pretty good item, it has a lot of range, I really do love it. All right, guys, last but not least, we are going to be talking about his Chrono Ring. This is a really good move. You're going to see this in a lot of our combos. We're going to do good things. This is kind. This is a, one of the reasons why I do like Cruel, because he's very similar to Richter and Simon Belmont, because I love using the cross, because like I said before in the previous guide, it really controls that space because it comes back. So the, the person that you're fighting against has to worry about it and what they're going to do. So you you basically have something out there in the air and they have to like handle it in some form or fashion while you can still be aggressive. So you're you're basically being aggressive from two different angles. So if it become if it comes across, it essentially they got to handle it from the right side meanwhile you're on the left side and vice versa. So they're con you're controlling two spaces and it's a very horizontal range that's so really good. The other thing is, this kind of goes, it's not perfect, but it goes where you are as like a home and beacon. The only thing that I don't like about it is that if the crown falls, you have to pick it up. So, you you have to, it's not like a lot of the other uh, characters that have a really good benefit in that sense, but it still does handle a lot of good things. One thing I definitely do want to mention about this is that it does go through a lot of projectiles, which is really good if you wanted to put pressure. So I definitely do like that. You see? He has priority over Ken, which is really cool. Now, something I definitely do want to mention about the boomerang, which is really important, guys, 
is that this boomerang, when it comes back to you, King Cruel has the tendency of putting an animation. So the thing is, you don't really want to do that animation during battle. And there's a few ways you can avoid it. And we discussed it with Richter Belmont as well because there, there happens to be a, a slight stutter animation with Richter and Simon Belmont when the cross comes to them. So what you want to do is essentially you would want to do another, you want to, want to perform another action when you're doing this. So a perfect example is doing something like that. Like if you do the dodge, he's not going to do that. If you do a forward attack, like a dash attack, he's not going to try to put the, the crown on his head. It's just going to go there. There's a lot of things you can do, guys, when it comes to, um, you know, preventing that animation from happening. So one thing I would give advice to is essentially uh, try to have another action ready when you're using that. So when it comes time for the crown to come back to you, you don't have King Cruel slowing you down or putting you in a position where now you have active frames of him putting his crown back on his head because that could leave you very vulnerable. So what I tend to do is I tend to jump and attack and stuff like that. Uh, if you did this, you see how you kind of you're doing some type of action that prevents that from happening? You got to get ready and think in that mentality when you're playing with Cruel. The other thing I do want to mention about using this Chrono Ring, and it, this goes with any character guys that have a boomerang feature. You have to, uh, it's really good to use this when you do it in the opposite direction because you can kind of prep certain attacks in this uh, in this respect you see like you can do this and then prep a hit for that and then you can follow it up with other stuff so don't always think about throwing the boomerang forward sometimes think about throwing it backwards before you initiate an attack it will actually do a lot of things and you can do you can do very diverse combos with this all right guys we're up to everyone's favorite part and this is the advanced combo video section i really hope you guys enjoy this i'm going to slow down and put some replays on some of the combos that i think you'll find very interesting but before i uh start that off i just want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this video again if it's your first time here definitely be sure to hit it hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment come join us on discord be part of this community i love hanging out with you guys i love talking to you guys you have no idea Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I really hope you enjoy these combos. I will be putting some comments while I'm actually talking about some of these complex combos, but I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, let's do it, guys. <laughs> Here's a really good combo, or here's a good, a few good combos using the Chrono Ring with the Down Tilt. It's so good when you attach them together. You can do some really cool things. Check it out.
What a lot of people don't realize about the Chrono Ring that makes it so good is that with the Chrono Ring, you can use it as a pre-buffer hit. And what I mean by that when I'm saying that is essentially when you're doing a combo, like say the neutrals, the three piece, if you wanted to attach a smash to that, you can use the Chrono Ring hit when it's coming back to attach a smash attack. This is what I mean. And I'm doing it in the earlier percentages, percentages to show evidence that because this would be the toughest time to do an attachment like that. But using the Chrono Ring as a buffer hit that you can kind of wait with uh, with Cruel and then prepare the smash attack while the crown is hitting uh, the other player. In this case, Ken. So this next combo guys isn't a true combo to the fullest, it's about a true combo halfway, but you can still, it has potential to become a full combo when you're utilizing it. So definitely look at this combo because I definitely would love to have you have this in your arsenal because there is potential to attach it fully. Here's a Chrono Ring combo with the down tilt when you're at the higher percentages. You can do really nifty things. You can do this combo at 60% for a kill confront. Once you get to the real high percentages, you can actually use the down air to do some kill confirm. Same thing goes for the down grab. and also his down tilt berry. Here's a good example of a kill confirm with a grab. I will say that Cruel has a very good zoning game because he has two projectiles. Like many characters, kind of like Link and Richter Belmont, when you have a lot of projectiles to, to basically utilize, it puts you as a good zoning character, especially with things like edge guarding and just kind of doing all those things. You can continuously mix them up. So I really do like Cruel because of that, and it's, it's something to keep in mind when you want to play it safe, but you don't want to put yourself at risk. I figured I'd end the, the video with something goofy like this, like this has no merit on doing it in actual competition guys, but like this is just really funny so I was trying to figure out what the exact alignment, I know there's DI and stuff like that, but if I just had the character falling for the CPU, uh, when can I kill hit him with the cannon again? 
and apparently at 110% for Ken, that's where it actually falls perfectly fine without a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya